Hello guys, this is NBS, um, the coach of Ascens Valorant team. Today I wanted to show you the new map that is coming to Valorant. It's called Breeze and we were able to get um, access to it for, for, for one day. So we got to try it, test it, to play with some other people that have access to it. And uh, yeah, we wanted to make like a, a short video to show you guys how the map looks. Um, I'm gonna give you my thoughts about it as well, um, some things that I've noticed from the few games that I've played. Keep in mind, this is a bit of a, an early access to the map, so some uh, things might change, but I expect the majority to stay uh, once uh, it hits the live servers. So, the map itself, um, the theme of the map at least, is like, it's a bright map. Um, as you can see, it's, it's like a, a map that is on the side of a tropical island so there's you know a lot of green areas and palms and, and sand and whatnot um so uh, i was flying around a little bit to just see how it looks and apparently um how we ended up in this map there's like a, a huge uh, cargo ship that hit the side of the island um apparently there was a i guess like a castle over there now it's uh, just like ruins of the castle as you can see and straight down the middle, as you see in the map, the right side of the map, or like the, the B side and that whole area is going to be played in like these castle ruins. And the other side of the maps, like uh, mid and the A area, is going to be played like on the side of this ship and these metal buildings and such. So, um, yeah, that's the theme of the map itself. Now I wanted to talk about uh, some more specific things that will get um, maybe used in the games uh, themselves, right? So, um, how this maps, map looks. Um, it's a bit of an open map, I would say for sure. Um, it keeps the idea, I think, from what Iceberg gave us, Icebox, I mean, um, that gave us more open areas, uh, a, a bit less tight corridors and such. Um, so yeah, like as you can see, the, the site, the B site itself is pretty open, pretty wide with some objects. Um, mid is very open as well, and so so is A site. Like these three huge areas. So you know, like opping will be very strong in this map, I think, um, and such and stuff like that. Uh, there are definitely like some small choky areas as well. So agents like Rays and Sage and 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 you know. Um, all the smokers and, and a lot of users will also uh, get some use for sure. Like there is this pretty unique area, this, this metal corridor um, that is very tight, you know, and stuff like that. So yeah, um, definitely more on the open side of things, I think this map, um, but there is still some chokes um, for sure. I wanted to talk, like when I look at the new map, right, I think the very important thing at the start is to understand the map control aspect of the, of the map. So, as you can see, the barriers, right? Like where, where the teams start. So I'm on the defender side of things. So, like this is Here. this is the first barrier on A side. Um, as you can see, this entry to A side, like for the attackers to come, right? If I'm an attacker, I'm gonna be coming from this side. That entry to A Here. side is really really open. And quite wide like this is one of the more wide doors to a site um, considering all the maps and as you can see even when you exit this this wide door it gets even wider and very open so it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty rough to to stop like attackers going in you know with just one kind of utility um, but at the same time, it's very good to, to be holding such an area with an operator, right? Because there, you will have a lot of angles you can be holding from here, from here, from here, from elevated areas, from a lot of different angles. So you can't get smoked as well. So it works like both ways. Um, yeah, so like this area between the attackers' um, barriers and the defenders' barriers, like this one, the cave area here. and the shop area. I don't think this, this area is too, too important. Um, for the attackers at least. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, just like a two-way two -way street to, to, to the site itself. Um, I think it, this area favors defenders a bit, mo uh, a bit more than the attackers because of the one thing, you know, like uh, to, th this, to, that uh, to, that, to that map area, there is one Here. entry from defenders 
but there's two Here. entries from attackers. What it means that if you're an attacker and you're not getting um, map control on this side, you will need to watch for flanks from two different areas. Whereas if you're a defender, all you need to do is you need to hold this big Um Alright, so however, I think that and that's like, uh, I was flying around as I said, and I got to thinking about map control and all, all these things, these things, and I got to notice that, you know, if you look at the map, if you're an attacker and you're not taking Here. cave, shop, or this Here. metal corridor, and you're leaving this whole map control for the um, defenders to push out and take it, if they close, if they take all this map Here. control up, up until this this choke point. Look at how much map control the defenders would get, right? If you look at it like this, then they would have Here. the whole corridor, A Here. lobby, and this area. Here. So yeah, it's uh, it's like a little bit of an interest area. It's it's kind of open as well, like the theme of the map, uh, as I said as well. But yeah, I think this this area is is gonna be pretty rough for attackers. Like you can't really, you can't. I don't think you can spend a lot of resources like manpower you know you can't have two guys watching um different entry points and stuff like that but at the same time you can't give it away as well um so maybe you know this is going to be where your sentinels come in and you know like a a cypher camera somewhere on the tree or, or whatnot or, or like a kill jet turret and you, so you get you get to keep the control of this map area i think that's going to be very very important all right let's move on to the next area um, so if we're looking at the map from the left to the right, then the next Here. area would be the, the this metal corridor. So this is like a little bit of a unique thing. Um, it's like a tight, long corridor. It has two exits. Um, and like uh, two exits to the sides, <laughs> one of which is a button. I'm gonna take down the barriers right now so you guys can see. Stay safe. So basically, from this metal corridor, there is one exit through this button. It opens the door to the A side. So as a defender, you can open this door early on the rounds. So you have more access to like uh, faster rotates and stuff like that. And then the, another exit from this tunnel is in this shaft that has an automatic door that, when you drop, it opens and it closes after like uh, around three seconds. You cannot open the door from the from the bottom. So it's like a, a little bit of an interesting mechanic. And you get to, to the middle part of the of the map. Alright, um I'm gonna go back. Thirty to seconds the, left. So to be we can see back, the barriers right? again. Alright, so yeah, like the the metal corridor is pretty straightforward. It's a little bit of a new, I guess, kind of area. Um like a long corridor like that. Um but yeah, definitely interesting. Next barrier from A side is towards the middle, and if you look at middle, I would like to divide middle into two parts. So as you can see, like this is going to be lower Here. middle area, Here. like this whole area, from attacker's middle to the double doors from defender side, and this whole area below, basically up until uh, this ramp starts, right? Like this lower area, lower area, and Here. it's going to be like for Here. contestions when you're attacking it's going to be very important when you're doing like a, an A split, right? Because you're going to uh, try to go through cave, through A shop, through that Here. main big area that I said it's kind of rough to attack through only when you go only from there but if you choose to go through middle as well maybe with like a smoke or a viper wall or anything like that to block um, you know, vision from mid and then you have access through this through these double doors to A site as well um, so yeah, like this is the, the bottom mid area. However, there is also this upper mid area, which is like this is an interesting thing. Um, it is mid of the map, but is it's like two different middles. Um, because if you look at it, the upper mid part is going to be a bit more important when you look at it towards the B side of things. Um, while the lower mid area is going to be much more important when attackers are going towards A. And to get from lower mid to upper mid is going to be really, really hard unless you have like control of elbow from this side. Um, it's definitely like feels 
feels a bit fresh to divide mid like that into two sections, I would say. And it's uh, definitely an interesting uh, idea. And um, I'm very excited to actually um, see how it plays out in, in like uh, official competitive games and how teams, you know, adapt and how they take control of this mid area. All right, so that's mid basically. Mid, two mids, right? Top mid, bottom mid. Bottom mid, more towards A. Top mid, more, more towards B. And next, towards B side, there's B Here. elbow that is kind of Here. connected to the top mid. And there is um, the B main Here. area. The B main area is probably the most boring areas of all in this map. It's just an open area with this useless box that is completely wall bangable and this window that sees everything here. So yeah, it's 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 like a it's like an open open room with not much to it and here. Not gonna be easy to pass this choke point. It's, it's much now narrower than you know the one on A. Um, you can easily stop it with just like a single smoke or a single molly. Attackers from coming. Also, there is not much prep you can do as an attacker because, like, to get to this position, for example, to close up the other side is going to be very difficult. And attacking from one side is never usually um, a recommended thing to do. Um, splitting towards B is also, I think, going to be pretty hard because to split to B as an attacker it will mean that you need to have control of upper mid area. So you need to come from elbow. Um, take on basically take fights or take control of mid Here. nest, maybe with a smoke or something. And mid nest, as you see, as you can see, is it has like two 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 windows, which makes it like pretty wide area to smoke off, right? So like it can be covered with a single smoke, however, you know it's not as reliable. So splitting into B is going to be pretty dangerous, and as an attacker, you'll have to get like. Uh, Here. Pretty far into Here. the map to do a split to B, uh, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see how teams actually manage to do it. Uh, so yeah, that's like that's all these three, four map areas that I wanted to, to show you to you guys. Um, basically, it's the areas between the barriers of defenders and attackers, right? It's the areas which, when the round starts, both teams try to take map control. Uh, these neutral areas, as I said, cave and chop. The metal Here. corridor, then mid, the Here. lower and the upper mid, and then the B main. Here. So it's like four to five areas, depending if you divide the mid into one or two areas, you know. Um, all right, then I guess the, the obvious things, the sites themselves, we didn't cover them too, too much. Um, as I said before, sites are very open in this map, as you can see. Um, so yeah, there's gonna be a lot of uh, a lot of need for utility, for good smokes, um, for good walls, you know, from Sage, from Viper, from Astra, to divide the site into a couple of parts, so it's easier for you to battle for it, to take it, to plant a bomb. Um, there's definitely like a lot of little um, small areas that you can. I'm actually gonna take down good the one. barriers. Um, Don't screw it up. Yeah, like a lot of little areas that you can. You know, take control of and then hold you know after plant and whatnot uh, for defenders there is like this little um, corner which you should be careful of about because you know this is a wooden box you can get uh, banged pretty easily even from all the way from here something like that but yeah uh, the site itself is pretty open has some cover to it has uh, these two I don't even know how to call it Illum Illuminati things in the middle um, the site itself where you plant the bomb is basically this this water area um, so yeah this lower area where the water is you can plant the bomb everywhere around here nice little mechanic to add like a wall like this so it's a bit more safe from the middle you can't really get seen if you're in the water so yeah this is the a side uh, three access to it really if you're an attacker uh, the big big door from cave um, the double doors from middle and if you get control of the metal corridor you might even be able to do a split using this button over here and getting the third access to the site itself and of course from the defender's side all right let's go to the b site there's not that much in b site really um it's actually pretty open and plain site i would say 
Um, there is this wall that is bangable, kind of useless, but I guess, yeah, you can at least block a line of sight. Middle of the site has this big pillar. Um, some lower ground over here with some bangable walls as well. Uh, so, yeah, it's like, as you see, as you see like, it keeps the, the open, the wide theme on, of the site. So, in, in A and in B as well. So, it's gonna be interesting to see, definitely. Like, there are some spots where you can, you know, elevate, um, use some angles as a jet, maybe boost up with a sage wall or stuff like that. One here, one here, a little corner over here. So yeah, um, both sides, as you see, pretty open works. Um, and yeah, like a few things that I also wanted to finish up on is a um, few, few different interesting things that are in this map that are kind of unique. Um, not, not really, but a little bit, I guess. So if you notice, right, I was talking about open areas before in this map, three open Here. areas, A side, Here. mid and B. What all of these areas have in common is a big object in the middle. So as you see in B side, there is this big tower thing that is, you know, a solid and you cannot wall bank through. In the middle, there is this little uh, tower ruins as well, with a few added wooden boxes that you can shoot through. And on A side, there are these little, uh, not little, but uh, Illuminati things that are also, you know, like a big cover in the middle. So this is, I think, something Riot is trying to play around with. Um, it reminds me of, you know, sites from, let's say, Split. If you think about Split in A and B sites, um, both in the middle of the site, there is big tower things um, that you can play around. And I think, you know, in competitive games, uh, these big solid things in open areas also create these interesting scenarios when, you know, one guy shifting one side, the other, the other guy, meanwhile, is flanking him and they miss each other. And then they end up both flanking um, the opposing team and there's a lot of chaos and stuff like that. So definitely um, an interesting thing that will probably create a little bit more chaos. Um, but I think it's very needed in such an open areas. Um, and a few more things that I wanted to mention again that we went through. A um, few new mechanics, I would say. One is the door, right? We had these doors in like Ascent. Um, and the only difference is this door is fully bulletproof. You cannot wall bang it with the gun. It's full, like full metal, full bulletproof. You can open and close it as many times as you want, and you can use it, you know, reuse it as many times as you want. Once it, it opens, you can close it again and stuff like that. So, multi use bulletproof door. That's something new. And another new thing is like the shaft, as I showed you before, that automatically opens when you jump down. So, it's like shaft that you can use for elevation. Uh, quick flanks, un unexpected peaks, stuff like that, but you cannot go back. So it's like a, a one-way shaft um, for, I guess, mostly defenders to use. Once you get um, the metal corridor control, you can surprise attackers from quickly, you know, jumping down, maybe getting a hit, and quickly going back up again, for example, if you're a jet. However, I was playing, playing around it, and I, what I noticed is that if you're a jet, you cannot go back with just one jump. So, if you want, if you, I didn't test with rays with satchels, but if you're a jet and you want to do like a quick play like that, you have three seconds to jump down, have a quick peek, and go back up before the door closes. However, it will be costly because you'll have to use two up doors to go back. So yeah, small little cool thing, um, but you know, every small little new thing is pretty cool that they add to the game. So yeah, this was Breeze. This was NBS with you guys. I hope you liked this short review of the map and hope to see you guys on the servers pretty soon. Peace.